Hello and welcome back to the Basement Card Collector. Today's video is going to be a video response to Eric over at the Card Closet. He recently had a video of his hit 10,000 views. Um, so he has this contest uh, talking about or telling a story about one of your oldest cards or what got you collecting or maybe your earliest card or something that has kind of tells a story of how how you started and that first card that got you going and so for his his contest you had to um, comment and be a subscriber and then send in a video response um, you know for for the contest so I will leave a link to his channel uh, the card closet. I'm a new new subscriber to his actually. I just found it maybe a week or two ago um, He has tons of videos and I actually scrolled down to the very bottom one his very first one and uh, I just it was very interesting to see how he started. I've been making videos now for just about four months He's been on since 2019 um, He just has a really cool channel. He likes the Red Sox um, He has some Steeler things he likes the shiny shiny some Kobe's and LeBron's and all those all those kinds of stars here so my video response will go something like this um, I have I have a story that I've told before but it's I'm gonna take it just a one step further today um, back when I was in kindergarten I had an awesome gym teacher named mr. Garner and he was into baseball cards and he was into sports, which I loved. And so when we had time, we would come into class, we would circle up on the gym floor, which was a rubber gym floor. Let that kind of soak in. It had a very cold, cool feeling. It was a gym floor with all the basketball stripes painted. It just had a cushion, you know, made of rubber, I suppose, for the little kids and, you know, not to hurt themselves when they fall. Anyway, so we're in a circle and Mr. Garner's in the middle and we're stretching our legs and we're, you know, getting ready to have whatever game we would have played in gym that day. And Mr. Garner is talking about a player that last night hit two home runs, not in a game, well, in the game, yes, but in one inning. He hit two home runs in one inning and I was a kindergartner and I just remember thinking, man, I don't know much about this, but hitting one home run would be amazing. Hitting two in the same inning, this guy must be must be a, a superstar. So I thought, okay, um, I'm gonna, and I just kind of saved that in the back of my mind here. And so later on, um, a few years go by and I have a buddy who is, he collects baseball cards and basketball cards and things like that. And one night while I'm over there, this is the card that he gives me. It's my Andre Dawson Sports, Sports Illustrated for Kids card. Um, he kind of gave that to me, and I don't really know the real reason. It's something to the uh, to the effect of, well, it's not a real card. You can have this card. I'm like, well, okay. And at this point, I didn't really have anybody in my family that collected baseball cards or watched sports or basically anything with baseball cards. And so... I took that card home and I thought, okay, this is pretty cool. Um, and I come to think about it, that gym class story from Mr. Gardner, the man that hit two home runs in one inning was Andre Dawson. And here we are a couple, I gotta believe it's a year or two later, something kind of close. Maybe I was a third grader or fourth grader. I don't really know. But somewhere around 1992, somewhere between... This is probably a year later, so probably 1991, maybe. My neighbor gives me this Andre Dawson card and it hit me like a bolt of lightning. I'm like, that's the same guy. <laughs> that's the same guy that hit two home runs in one inning um, back when I was you know, on the gym floor hearing that story. And so I kept that. Uh, I, I love the Cubs to this day. You can see I pulled down some old Cubby TTMs. That Andre Dawson 89 Tops was probably my favorite year of card. So it's not the oldest card I have, but that's when I first started buying packs of cards. 1989 and 89 Tops, my all-time favorite. But I do love 89 Donruss and 89 Score and Fleer and Upper Deck. Could even throw a Bowman there if I had to. But 1989 is just when I started buying my own packs. 
um, TTM Andre Dawson. The Ryan Sandberg rookie right there, I mean, I couldn't get any bigger than that. And then there, I stuck on an Eckersley behind the illustrated card there. So this Andre Dawson Sports Illustrated for Kid card is um, the first card that kind of got me started for one, collecting Andre Dawson. He's my number one person that I collect. Um, I love the Cubs still, and I think it all started from this one card that my neighbor just felt the need to pass along. I think because it wasn't like a brand name card. It wasn't a Tops. It wasn't a Fleer. He goes, here, you can have this. So, and the one step, I'm going to take this one step further. Here's a 1985 Donruss, the highlights. Um, I took this out of my Dawson binder, but I can almost pinpoint that day back into into school with this with the back of this card. It talks about um, him hitting two home runs in the same inning. Um, you can see there he hit one he hit one earlier in the game, and I don't remember this part of Mr. Gardner's story, but that game he actually hit three home runs, and he was. Um, so earlier in the game, you can read it here as you look, but he actually hit three homers in one game, and he didn't even mention that part. But the date, so I can put myself back in my kindergarten elementary school in gym class. You can see right there, September 24th. Um, you can see later down, as I'm reading this card, in 1978, he also did that once already. Um, so anyway, this card kind of puts me back to that cold gym floor, Mr. Garner telling me the story. And here is a picture of, ironically, Andre Dawson in his Expo uniform, putting a hurtin' on the team that I love currently and the team that he went on to win an MVP for, um, the Chicago Cubs. So the Don Russ highlight card is not really one of those cards that made me, I was already in full-blown collecting Andre Dawson at this point, but, this little Sports Illustrated for Kids um, is kind of what got me started first, and that that is how um, and I still collect today. I'm getting into this TTM business, which is really fun. But like even like right now, I'm putting sets in order. I'm working on 19. This has nothing to do with it, but I'm working on a 1998 Stadium Club set. Just putting them. Just I love putting them in order. So collecting cards, player collections, um, sets. I love running the top set um, from 73 is what I'm working on now up to current, you know, 2022. So um, I just kind of owe all of these two things back to two things, really. Mr. Garner and gym class and my, but my neighbor friend who for giving me this card and those stories kind of came together and, and 40, I'm 42 years old now and just kind of build off this one card. So I will um, close that story there. I will put a link down in the description box below about the card closet and put a link down there for you to click. His contest is running through June 30th, so you still have time to make a quick video if you can and then submit it over to the card closet. And like I said, I'm a new subscriber to him. But I found myself watching those old videos and just trying to trying to binge watch all of his stuff. He's got a bunch on there, so so that concludes my VR for Eric at the Card Closet. Um, I will see you next time.